Hi viewers, and we're going to be looking at creating macros in FreeCAD in the Python language and actually learning the Python language from a FreeCAD perspective. Our first few videos will look at creating a macro that converts inches to millimeters, so we can use that in our projects. Through this, we will learn about variables, input and output, and basic setup of the environment to allow for a macro to be added to the toolbar. This course differs from any of the others from any programming courses in that they will be concentrating on Python and how to use it for small applications or web services or microservices, etc. This one is to do with actually scripting and dedicated to FreeCAD itself. So we're going to be looking at real world scenarios where we can actually create macros to actually automate our processes or actually create work pieces faster. So for the first video, we're going to be looking at actually setting up the environment, some settings you need to change, and creating our first Hello World app, or well, our first Hello World macro, and then assigning that macro to a button. So when you click on it in FreeCAD, it automatically gets executed. First thing we'll do, we'll get the panel, the actual Python panel up, so we can actually see the output. So this is the console panel. So in our view if we go down to our panels you see the python console there let's just click on it and now we've got our python console up so anything we do now let's say create a new document it will actually put the commands in here for you to actually see and actually copy and paste them into your macros also if this is um actual it's got co-completion in here so if we type in FreeCAD and then hit dot you can actually scroll down using the arrow keys or the mouse if you want to the actual different things on here so I can actually pick a command or a function or a property hit enter and I've got access to that first of all uh, I'm going to be talking about macro so a macro allows you to automate a task that just by a running a macro or pressing a button you can automate that every, the same process each time or you can change a few parameters in that process to allow you to make different results but following the same process so the first macro we can actually write is just a basic hello world macro so in each program language when you start off you actually create an hello world app or hello world service hello world out, output and it just outputs hello world we go up to macros and we need to actually create a new macro so we go down to this uh, macros with the three dots and we get our execute macro screen up now there's nothing in there at the moment so we'll just create one and type in hello world hit the ok button and then you're chucked into a text editor where we can actually enter our macro in here. Now, unfortunately, if I typed in the same as what we did before and pressed FreeCAD and dot, we don't actually get code completion. What I'm going to do is actually output to the bar down here the words hello world. So we can do that. If I come back to the Python console, I type in FreeCAD dot and then go down to console hit enter and dot and then we have a number of print statements here so we can hit print message print warning etc etc now these as you can see by the brackets they require an, an additional um, parameter so this one requires a string so this is what was going to be output so string is letters letters that alphanumeric so they will be actually placed your actual hello world will be placed in parenthesis parenthesis around sorry single quotes around it and it will actually be actually output to the screen so let's try that so i can actually click print print message if i want double click it it gets added there but it's best to hit enter because you're using the keypad anyway sorry the actual yeah the keyboard anyway so open the bracket and in here single quote and i'm just going to type hello world close the single quote close the bracket and there we are 
So that's our first command. If I hit enter, you can see down here it comes up. Now, so to get this command into the macro itself, just copy it and just paste it into our text area and save it. Pressing Control S or File Save. And then that's our macro there. And we can run that by going macros, execute macro. And you'll notice that it's coming out unspected indent. That's probably because I've got a space there. There we go. There's a space on the end of there. So macros, execute macro. And you'll see it come up, hello world. What you've got to do is go macros, execute macro, but don't leave your mouse pointer sitting there because it's actually showing the um, rollover up down the bottom here and you won't see the result. So macros, execute macro and just move off and you'll see that the hello world has appeared down here or better still, use the shortcut, which could try F6. So I hit control F6 in here. You'll see hello world has appeared down here. Also for a better output, if you go to the view panels and hit report view, you can actually see what's being output here. So if I could do control F6 again to actually run the macro, you can see hello world has been placed in there. Just do that again. If you have problems with this report view, just go up to tools, um, is it tools? No, it's edit preferences and then go to output window and there's redirect internal python output to report view these run check for me and it still works but sometimes if you have problems with any outputs if you check these or uncheck them depending on the way your system works for some reason mine are unchecked and it's working which doesn't seem logical i don't know why that's happening hit apply and okay And then if I execute that again, control of six, you can see it's coming out. So now we've got our hello world macro and we saved it. You can hit control S to save it. We now need to get this onto a button onto, onto our toolbar if we're gonna reuse it. So to do that, if we come to a toolbar and right click and customize, Jump over to macros and we'll select the hello world macro in here. I'm going to put this menu, menu text as hello world. Take the W off hello world. Tooltip. I'm just going to do that same. That will just be the rollover when you actually roll over it. What is this? Just some basic text in there. The world output. And we can actually add a pixel map in here if we so desire. So we can actually add an icon in here if we want and actually include icon files, folders here. So we can actually load in our, our icons. So for the time being, I'm going to use a just a basic user icon. Click add. There it is there. So if we go over to toolbars and here's our hello world macro here. Um, if you could don't see it, if you just drop down the actual drop down here, because it'd probably be on file when you see it, um, just drop it down to macros. And there they are. And then you can select which workbench you want to actually be on here. I'm going to stick it on the start workbench just for um, just for demonstration. And I'm going to click new. And I'm going to put this one as something like, I don't know, that's a tools. There we go. So that's sitting there. And then we can just move the hello world over to there. Okay, so select close and you'll see it pop up here. 
if I right click, you can see Dazza Tools here. If you don't see it pop up, you can just right click and select the actual uh, tool on the actual uh, drop down here. So just for a right click. Obviously, we've just added one macro in there. We can add multiple. It's actually created a divider there for our macros we're adding. So whatever tool we want to actually add it to, just right click, customize, and then we can actually change it within here to wherever we want. Or even come in here and add more tools in here. So I can add, actually add the existing tools that are already there or any other macros that I've created which is only one at the moment and just go close and you can see they've been added to remove them just go just uh, right click customize Go to toolbars and you tool, find your toolbar, open it up, and you can actually remove the items from there. Close, you'll see them disappear. So we'll hit this now. You can see Hello World has just appeared down the bottom. Okay, Hello World clicked on it it's a bit confusing because when I roll over it actually says hello world but when I click on it you'll notice it will actually move back a space there we go so in our next video we'll look at getting input from the user and using it in our macro